All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is David Shaw. I'm the Senior Vice President of International and Content for the UFC. And just want to start off by saying thank you uh, to Kudo Serena, uh, New Th South Wales Combat Sports Authority, and of course our fans here in uh, City, another great event in Australia. Uh, attendance was 10,021. And uh, fight of the night goes to uh, Brown and Camacho. Uh, performance bonuses go to uh, Tai Tuvasa and, and Lentz. Uh, any questions? Yeah, David, just want to ask you uh, kind of what the future uh, for this market looks like next year. We're in an interesting position where we know we've got the, the Perth pay-per-view that's long waited. So what does that look like for the rest of the market? I mean, could Sydney be, Melbourne? What, what, what does it look like next year? Yeah, I mean, generally very bullish on Australia. Um, our business here has been uh, on a nice roll for the last few years. Um, a nice lead up into UFC 193 in Melbourne. And then since then, um, just on fire, just in terms of you know, our TV business, our pay-per-view business, performances of some of the Australian athletes here. We're looking forward to, to 2018. Uh, Perth in particular on, uh, on Sunday, Feb 11th at Perth Arena. Um, after that, I think, you know, there's still, a, there's a few options. I mean, we always love coming to Sydney. Melbourne's always a great destination. We haven't been to Brisbane uh, or the Gold Coast for a while. We haven't been to Adelaide in two or three, three maybe three years. Um, so there are a few options for us, probably uh, late, you know, kind of Q3, Q4, similar time frame to what we've done in the last couple of years here in November. Um, so, uh, you know, we're definitely two events next year, and uh, we're looking forward to coming back. The star of the market right now, of course, is Robert Whitaker. I know that you're not in the business of, of matchmaking yeah. or anything like that, but uh, any news on that front on, on maybe, you know, kind of when his next appearance will take place? No, I mean, not, no news yet. Um, I think, you, as you guys know, the kind of X factor right now is how is George doing? Um, listen, bottom line is we want to have Robbie fight in, in Perth. It's a, you know, the stars are sort of aligning for that event, having a pay-per-view there. Um, first time in Western Australia, which is meaningful for us. If you think back to the first times that we've been in other markets, like in Toronto, Ontario, 129, like in Victoria with 193. Um, so we want to blow it out of the water and make it a very significant event and a real impact, not only for Western Australians, but also for Australian fans all over the country. Um, so it's probably going to come down to, to, to George. Um, three months for anybody is a quick t uh, turnaround. Um, so if we can line up that fight, then that would be amazing, but uh, there's just no real update at this point. And lastly for me, Dave, we did have one bad incident, I guess, this week with, yep. with Colby Covington and how everything played out. I'm just curious if you have any update on that, um, kind of, you know, the legal implications and also where the, where the company stands with what happened. So we're, I mean, from a company standpoint, we're still collecting as much information as we can. We've spoke to Verdum and his team. We spoke to Covington. We spoke to the hotel security. We spoke to police. Um, so we are not at a point to make any conclusions yet, it's just too early. Um, there's still a process that we need to go through. Um, and listen, at this point it's in the hands of, of the uh, New South Wales Police. Um, and I think, you know, he's going to have, uh, Verdum's going to have uh, some conversations or at least some meetings in the next few weeks with them. Just a question over here. Yes, uh, with the Perth card, in terms of the time difference, mm -hmm. are you anticipating an early start for the locals yep. in Perth? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's going to go off in North America, 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, and in, uh, in the, on the Pacific Coast, it'll be 7 p.m. So for Perth, I think that pushes us back to maybe a 7 a.m. first bout, um, which is you know obviously three hours earlier than than here, the normal time here. Um, but that's just the name of the game if we're going to be in, the, in that territory. So, I mean, we've got no worries about it. I, I don't think anyone's got, needs a, an excuse to get up early and go have a good time and watch the fights. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's not really on our radar. Mm. And in terms of when you're putting the car together, will you yep. be trying to push a lot of local talent on there, or are you looking to put a bit more international flavor for this one? Well, I think a balance of both, and both international um, both from international local and but also local and star power. Um, that's the objective for us. I mean, each time we're in a region, it's always great to have local athletes. Uh, I mean, it gets the fans fired up, it sells tickets, it's a good way to showcase new athletes that, um, you know, have a legitimate possibility of becoming stars. Um, I mean, a couple of fights have already been announced. Um, Tyson Pedro's going to be competing, uh, Ben Wynn's going to be competing. Um, and our matchmakers will continue to look for local talent that can build out that card. Mm. And just finally, just wanted to get your thoughts on some of the new uh, talent in the UFC from today. Yeah. Great performance from Ty, great performance from Nadia. Yeah. What are the, some of the performances that, that kind of stood out to you and what was your reaction to some of those big wins? Yeah, I mean, Ty's to me took the cake only because, you know, the, the guy's got a flair for the dramatic. I mean, he's, he's great in front of a microphone, he's great in front of a camera, he's so good with our fans. 
And there was a lot of, of discussion around how he would enter the UFC. And he's been waiting for the opportunity for a while. He came out and uh, was very dynamic. Um, I think Tyson Petro's line was, I didn't even know he could jump. Um, so it was good to see him to, to come out and have a performance like that after, after so much fanfare uh, prior to his entering the UFC. And just quickly, what did you think about Nadia Kassim? She's obviously got a lot of steam during this uh, week, obviously, even, even though it was her first fight here. Yep. What did you think of her performance? And just her, I guess, attitude in general. She was almost like a, a young female uh, Diaz brother. Yeah, she was, she was great. I mean, she, she had uh, up against Alex, um, who just kept coming forward and kept pressuring her, and, and she handled that very, very well. I was also very impressed with her post-fight speech. She was very respectful. I mean, she missed weight. She missed weight by mile. And, um, I think to address that with the fans and, and own up to it shows a lot about her character. So we're, we're I mean, very impressed. Dave, just a question in around the original main event. Mark Hunt was conspicuous with his presence tonight, sitting cage side, supporting Ty yep. with his family. Is yep. that a sign of reconciliation? Is there any movement forward in that relationship that you can share? Yeah, I mean, I guess it is a sign of reconciliation. I think the one thing is, you know, he's obviously very vocal in the last couple of months, but there's, we haven't had we haven't had a fundamental issue. I mean, we just need to go through the medical process with him. Um, you know, he wanted to be here. He wanted to support uh, to, uh, Ty. Um, you know, he had his son and his nephew here, um, and he seemed to really enjoy himself. So we were happy to have him here. It's good to have him here because, you know, I mean, you saw the reaction when he walked out. Um, it was, you know, everyone sort of jumped out of their seats and started screaming for him. So that was nice to see as well, uh, but not surprising. But, yeah, great to have him here. All right, thank you very much.